Hello everyone. Hi. Thanks for joining me for one more presentation on SINP. So on SINP, while doing my research on SINP, what I found out is that there is something called a SINP point assessment grid. And this is basically a system where SINP assigns or gives the applicant some points based on certain factors. And these and this point assessment is required for few of the streams of SINP. So as I covered in my last video, SINP has close to 11 streams for workers. And out of these three popular streams use something called a point assessment grid. So this is a very good point. Uh, this is a, a very good point at which we can discuss this point assessment grid and get it out of the way. So let's dive into that. What is this SINP point assessment system? So, so the SINP points ass assessment system, as I told, assigns points given to individuals who are applying for P uh, SINP and who are qualifying for one of the streams. So before just going to the streams, on which this point system is applicable, I would just give you a high overview of about this point assessment system. So this point assessment system has two factors. There is factor one, which is a labor market success factor where you can score, where a candidate can score up to a maximum of 80 points. And then there is factor two, which is basically says Saskatchewan connection and adaptability. And in this section, you can score up to a maximum of 30 points and the total in the in this point assessment system is a maximum of 110 points as this point of time please note this is not related to any way related to express entry point system this is a totally independent point system from saskatchewan okay so again two factors one is labor market success factors and uh, one is Saskatchewan connection and ad adaptability. Let's, I will discuss the details of each factors in the next slides. So, as I was telling you in the starting of the presentation, this SINP point assessment systems is used for certain category of PNP applicants. So, if you remember in my last video, I covered that SINP runs two um, runs its PNP programs under two broad categories. One is for international skilled workers and another is for people with Saskatchewan experience. So this point assessment system is used for somebody who is primarily a international skilled worker. And within that skilled worker category, there are five streams and out of those it's applicable. This point assessment system is applicable to three of the streams, which is the employment job offer where you have a job offer from a Saskatchewan employer. Saskatchewan Express Entry where basically you are you have IRCC Express Entry profile and you have expressed your interest to migrate to Saskatchewan and you may or may not have a job offer for this particular stream. And the last is the occupation in demand, which basically means that you have a job offer for a occupation which is in demand in Saskatchewan. Okay, so that is what these are the three streams on which this point assessment system is applicable to. So there are two other streams in which uh, for the international skill worker on which this doesn't apply okay so let's go into the first factor the labor market success so what is this particular factor and what this contains so the first content of this factor is education and training so based on your level of education you can score a maximum of 23 points under this particular head of factor one. So if you have a master's or PhD, you get 23. I'll just put a screenshot here. You get 23. If you have a bachelor's degree, you get 20 points. If you have any kind of certification from trade, you get 20 points and so on. Okay. 
so education and training is the first content of the first factor next is skilled work experience so here as the name suggests you need to have certain years of experience in a skilled job and here you can score a maximum of 15 points if your experience is greater than or equal to 10 years so how Saskatchewan has bifurcated this particular section is that if you have five years of experience in 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 the last five years of your application so say you're applying in 23 if you have experience from 23 till 2018 if you have five years five years of experience in last five years you get a maximum of 10 points if you have four years of experience in the last five years you get eight points then beyond your five years so from the sixth to the tenth year from the application date so 2023 2018 is say the five year mark and uh, 2017 to 2013 is the 10 year mark so between 2017 and 2013 in those five years if you have gained again five years of experience you get five more points so if you have a continuous experience of 10 years you get you get five ten points in factor a and five points in factor b that is how the maximum points is calculated so for example you have seven years of experience in the last seven years you have a total experience of seven years then how much you would score so under factor a you would score 10 points for five years of experience and then under factor b you will score two points for two years of experience in the in the next batch of five years so that is how it would basically calculate and if you say have just five years of experience you get 10 points okay so this is basically to ensure that you have relevant experiences in the in the time that you have spent as working and the one important thing is that you have to understand here is that your work experience must relate to the job that you have in your application and your work experience basically one year means 12 months of job so if you basically break it down by month and then and then you will find uh, and then you can divide it by 12 to get the number of years of that you are working okay third factor language ability this is again based on the the canadian language ben benchmark test which is basically ielts or celpip whatever a uh, whatever exam that you have given for your express entry profile if you are interested in express entry language ability again has two sections there is a first language either english or french and then there is a second language either english or french so if you're if you have a first language and you have a clb of greater than or equal to eight you get a maximum of 20 points and if you have a second language there also with a clb of uh, more than eight you get 10 points okay so here in language ability you can score up to a maximum of 30 points okay next last but not the least is the age in the age category obviously this is not something that you can control but your maximum point that you can score for your age is 12 which is between the age bracket of 22 and 34 years 34 years beyond that your point starts going down from 35 to 45 it's 10 from 46 to 50 is 8 and more than 50 is 0 points so if you are anywhere between 22 and 34 you can max out this particular factor also so in this particular as i told you like all these factors combined can come up to a maximum of 80 points in factor one now let's go to factor number two which is connection to saskatchewan and adaptability this when discussing this factor we have to understand that this factor again has to be discussed in two for two different subcategory of pnp applications as i told you this this uh, this point system is only applicable for three streams three pnp streams that Canada uh, that Saskatchewan runs 
one is employment offer second is saskatchewan express entry and third is occupation in demand so factor two it depends if you are under the employment offer or you, if you are applying under the employment offer then you should have a job offer for a high skilled employment from a saskatchewan employer Obviously, there are a lot of nuances here. What is high skilled? What is Saskatchewan employer? We will go into details into uh, into those details as we go on into other discussions. But we have to understand at a very high level that if you have a high skilled employment offer from a Saskatchewan employer, you get thirty points. This is only for the employment offer category, right? Okay. So the next is the next nuance is if under Saskatchewan Express Entry. So if you are applying or if you are eligible for a Saskatchewan Express Entry or Occupation in Demand, then following contents will help you. So if you have a close family relative in Saskatchewan, 20 points, I have put an asterisk there, which basically is to tell you that there are conditions about who is considered close relative i'll put a screenshot here you can read you can pause the video and read through it close family relative if you are applying if you have a close family relative in saskatchewan you get 20 points if you have some past work experience in alberta in, in sorry in saskatchewan if you have any kind of past work experience on a valid work permit obviously if you are if you are up if you are working in saskatchewan you have to be doing that legally and the way of doing that legally is on a work permit so if you have any kind of past experience and of at least 12 months in saskatchewan you get five points if you have any kind of past student experience you mean that you have studied for at least one year in a saskatchewan institute you get five more points so under this particular category as you see you can fall un either under the employment offer or under one of the saskatchewan entry or occupation and demand in each of these sub factors you see you can get a maximum of 30 points and under factor two that is the maximum you can score so again as a summary the SINP point assessment system has two factors labor market success factors that I discussed where you can score a maximum of 80 points and then the factor two for uh, which is discussion connection and adaptability where you can score maximum 30 points and a total that you can score in this system is 110 points. However, please note that this is the maximum you can score in most of the streams you, you don't need to you don't need to score this much you only need to score 60 points to apply so if you factor one plus factor two you can reach up to 60 points you can apply in any of the three streams that i just discussed okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video about SINP point assessment system i will keep making videos on saskatchewan pnp programs and i hope you will like it and i will see you in the next video thank you